Denny Ross could die in prison. Go, Just a short need. time ago, Ross learned his punishment for the 1999 strangulation murder of 18-year-old Hannah Hill. News Channel 5's Bob Jones was in court for Ross's sentencing. And Bob, I understand it was an emotional scene inside the Summit County courtroom. Well, it sure was, Sunita. The family of, Han of Hannah Hill stood up in the courtroom and for the first time in 13 years spoke directly to Denny Ross and explained to him just how much pain that he caused their family. When given his chance to talk this afternoon, Denny Ross instead said nothing. A jury found him guilty on all counts related to the murder of the 18-year-old girl. Prosecutors told the judge that Ross has a pathological hatred towards women. Judge Judy Hunter then gave him the maximum, 19 years to life in prison. Meantime, Hill's family took in the emotional hearing wearing purple ribbons in the teen's memory. Ross strangled Hannah inside his Springfield Township apartment and then dumped her body inside the trunk of her car in 1999. His first trial ended in a mistrial, this time a conviction and justice for Hannah's family. Here are some of the emotional words spoken by her dad and her brother. It is a shame that her life was taken the way it was. I, <clears throat> I'd ask to not ever let the perpetrator back out on the street to some other girl the way he did my daughter. I hope that this judge gives you the maximum sentence and all my sister's friends and you don't know how much of a burden it's been on us and our family. And uh, there's no remorse in your face at all. And Denny Ross's sentence of 19 years to life will be served consecutively to his current prison sentence. He's currently serving time for raping a different Akron woman, meaning he will be 67 years old when he is first eligible for parole. There were three of the jurors in the courtroom this afternoon when the sentence was handed down, and they agreed with the punishment. They had a lot of interesting things to say, and we will play some of those interviews for you tonight on News Channel 5 at 11. On your side in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.